Good morning. It is another Sunday morning, first Sunday in the new year. We are so happy to be here. We are about to get started. We're going to have Brother uh, Kenneth starts and little brother Marquis Whitaker to do our devotion. So praise the Lord and hallelujah that we all are here this first Sunday in the new year. Amen. That Jesus is Lord. This is the house that God is building by his word. This is the house that God is building. The gates of hell shall not prevail. This is the Lord's house where Jesus is Lord. This is the Lord's house where Jesus is Lord. This is the house that God is building by his word. This is the house that God is building. The gates of hell shall not prevail. This is the Lord's house where Jesus is Lord. Amen. 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 Lord, I cry unto thee. Make haste unto me. Give ear unto my voice when I cry unto thee. Let my prayer be set forth before thee as incense, and lift up of the hands as the evening sacrifice. Set a watch, O Lord, before my mouth. Keep the doors of my lips. I have read to you Psalms 141, blessing for the readers and the doers of the word. Amen. Blessed be the name, blessed be the name, blessed be the name of the Lord. Oh, blessed be the name, blessed be the name, oh, blessed be the name of the Lord. I heard the voice of Jesus say, come unto me and rest. Lie down, thy wearied ones, lie down, thy head upon my breast. Blessed be the name, blessed be the name, blessed be the name of the Lord. Oh, blessed be the name, blessed be the name, oh, blessed be the name of the Lord. Amen. Jesus is on the main line. Tell him what you want. Jesus is on the main line. Tell him what you want. Jesus is on the main line. Tell him what you want. You just call him up and tell him what you want. Call him up, call him up, tell him what you want. Call him up, call him up, and tell him what you want. Call him up, call him up, and tell him what you want. You just call him up and tell him what you want. Amen. Amen. I want to thank everyone who's joining our devotion. And may we have a blessed day. It's the first Sunday of the first year. Amen. Amen. Okay, we want to thank them for our devotion. And now we're going to have our Sunday school lesson. Uh, it's going to be taught by Sister Garrison. Happy New Year to everybody that I haven't said Happy New Year to before. Uh, we have a great lesson today, uh, January 2nd. Uh, the, the title of the lesson is Justice, Vengeance, and Mercy. 
the lesson, uh, the devotional reading was Genesis 4, 1 through 13. The background scriptures was the whole chapter of Genesis 4, which is very good uh, reading. And if you have not read it, I'm going to say go, go and read it. So uh, we're talking on the, the it's going to be the first 15 verses. So I'm going to start off, I think, reading from 1 to 5. It says, uh, Genesis 4, starting at verse 1. And Adam knew Eve, his wife, and she conceived. And there I came and said, I have gotten a man from the Lord. And she again her, her his brother, Abel. And Abel was a keeper of sheep. But Cain was a tilter of the ground. And in the process of time, it came to pass that Cain uh, brought of the fruit of the ground an offering unto the Lord. And Abel, he also brought of the first ones of the flock, of the, of the fat thereof. And the Lord had request, had respect unto Abel and to his offering, but unto Cain and to his offering, he had not respect. And Cain was very wroth, and his countenance failed. So I'm going to stop with those first five verses. So in the first uh, verse, we see that uh, you remember, remember Adam and Eve, first uh, man and woman. Eve has conceived a, a boy child, and his name is she. She named him Cain. She didn't wait on Eve on Adam to name him. Eve named him, and Eve even said, "I conceived. I've got a, a child. I got a man child from the Lord." So she was real happy. The way she kind of talked, it was that Adam didn't have nothing to do with it, but he did. But the way she did it was that's the way she she said it. And then when she went on after that one child, then she had a second child. And so his name was was Abel. And so these two boys were there and they were keepers. One was keeper of the ground uh, who did the, the gardening and, and all of that. And the other one was the sheep herder. or he, he was over the animals. That's what he did. And so you have two brothers. The oldest one is Cain, the second kid is Abel. So, you know, they gave, uh, they gave their first, you always give your first offerings to the Lord. So Abel, he gave his, his uh, first offerings of the flock, the fattest flock, the, fatted, the first one in the fatted count, all that to the Lord, and the Lord respected Abel. But when Cain did it, he gave his offering, uh, and he, you know, he brought, of the fruit of the ground and offering unto the Lord. So the Lord, but the Lord did not respect his offering. And you know, and it says, and, and Cain was very wroth and his countenance fell. So I'm gonna put a, a pen right there. So Cain was the oldest son. And he gave, they both took their offering. And he said, Well, okay, it didn't say Cain, it didn't say Cain did nothing, it didn't say Abel did nothing. But it did say that God wasn't pleased. Now, we're talking about God Almighty that knows all. And so it says that Cain was very wroth. Wroth means you're angry. Okay? And then, and his countenance fell. That means it showed all over his face. His feelings was all over his face. That's what countenance is. Look it up in the dictionary. It was like that. So Cain showed how he felt. And when I read that, and I just stopped, okay, I'm going to tell you, we had a, we had a child uh, when my kids were growing up, and we had one kid that was doing, uh, doing the kitchen, and she would do a lousy job. Well, Grim Garrison went in there that, that evening after she did the kitchen, and, and he looked, and we were both very disappointed, uh, disgusted. He said, show me everything that's wrong with the kitchen, and happily, she went to point out everything. Now, this is the same kid that cleaned the kitchen up. She went and pointed out everything that was wrong with that kitchen. And to our surprise, she knew everything that was wrong with the kitchen. So you know what? And I say that to say, sometimes people feel like it ain't mine. So why, I'm, why, why do you want me to do this anyway? It's yours, it ain't mine. And they have an attitude about it. So they do it half, half, half. I don't know. Okay, they do it halfly. <laughs> they don't do it all the way. And that's what he did. So he did it, but he did, and it said God saw his face. 
So then the Lord said, and the Lord said unto Cain, why art thou wrought that walk? First of all, why are you angry? Why are you so angry? And then why is thy confidence far? And why are you showing me that you're angry? You know, that's a lot of nerve. That's a lot of nerve. You got people with a lot of nerve. First of all, it shows that he didn't fear, he didn't fear God. Because I'm not going, if I fear God, there's certain things I'm going to do. Some kids don't fear their parents. And they show you by standing up toe to toe to you and talking to you like you ain't nobody. Here he is. Uh, here he has done the Lord like this. And the Lord asked him why. And then it says, if thou dost well, then shalt thou not be accepted. That's God saying, if you do your work right, won't it be accepted? Now, that's, that's the scripture number seven. If thou dost well, shalt thou not be accepted. When you do your job, no matter what it is, and you do it well, it's accepted. But when you haphazardly do your job, and you know you did it, it's not accepted. And he said, that if thou doesn't, doesn't not well, then sin lies at the door. Y'all, sin is behind all of that. Because we, for whatever reason, we get sin in our heart, whether it's jealousy of someone, or whether it's, I just feel like I'm as good as you and I don't know why I got to do this or why, why I got to do it and it ain't mine. That's sin. And he said, sin is at the door. And until thee shall be his desire and thou shalt rule over him. So that's saying, if you let sin get in you, then who's ruling you is sin. Sin is going to rule you because you let it in. It said in Cain, he talked to Abel. So now, okay, so don't miss this point. God has had, okay, so he didn't accept Cain's offering. God had a conversation with Cain, okay? God had a conversation with Cain. From that conversation, Cain now goes to his brother Abel, okay? So in the eighth verse, it says, and Cain talked with Abel, his brother, and it came to pass when they were in the field, that Cain rose up against Abel, his brother, and slew him. He killed him. He took his brother when they were out in the field after having the conversation with God. Then he's so mad. He just the brother. Abel hadn't done nothing to Cain. Abel ain't done nothing but did his work. He took his brother and he killed his brother. Then in the ninth verse, it says, and, and the Lord said unto Cain, where is Abel thy brother? Okay, so God don't ask, Mark, he God asking you, where are your sister or where are your brother? God, now, first of all, it's a privilege for God to talk to you. That's number one. God asks you where it is. And then Cain got the nerve to say, I know not. First, he say, I don't know. You know, I mean, if I ask you something and you tell me I don't know, you know I'm going to slap you. I'm going to hit you. You don't tell me I don't know. If you're going to say I don't know, you better say it with some, you know, very calm. I don't know, Sister Jefferson. But just to say I don't know. And then not only did he say I don't know, then he turned around and asked a question to a question. Am I my brother's keeper? Now then, see, it would have been on. I couldn't have been God. Because you're going to stand up like you as big as me, you God, like I am. And I ask you a question, you're going to turn that question on me, see, uh, I couldn't have been. He would have been dead. I'm sorry. He did. But God didn't do that. He did not. He didn't do him like that. He said, and he said, what has thou done? That's God, what, what, you, what have you done? Now, when God asks you, what have you done? It's really not asking you as if he don't know. God knows all, God sees all. He already knew what he had done. So he said, what have you done? And it says, what has, and uh, the voice of thy brother's blood crieth unto me from the ground. He's telling him uh, that, what have, first of all, uh, and he said, what hast thou done? He says, the voice of thy brother's blood cries unto me from the ground. And he loved and it says, and now art thou cursed from the earth, which hath opened her mouth to receive thy brother's blood from thy hand. So, you know, when God asked him about his brother, he still had enough trembling fear that he fell and started asking, please forgive me, please forgive me, Lord, please forgive me. He didn't do it. He didn't do it. He didn't, do, he didn't even acknowledge that he had sinned. 
And that's the thing. When we sin, God always give you a chance to ask to, to, for you to repent. Cain didn't repent. I don't know what, if when sin takes you over like that, when, when sin takes you over, there's no, it's hard to get back. And he didn't get back. He just couldn't. So he just, he just acted as if nothing had happened. So it says, after God told him, now uh, art thou cursed from the earth, which hath opened her mouth to receive thy brother's blood from your, thy hand. Okay, now 12 says, when thou tillest the ground, it shall not henceforth yield unto thee, unto thee her strength. A fugitive and a vagabond shalt thou be in the earth. Now, Cain was the one that tilled the soil. God is saying, from now on, I don't care how hard you till, you're not going to get nothing. From now on, you won't get nothing. And from now on, I've made you a fugitive. Now, look at this. It's bad enough to be a fugitive. Y'all know what a fugitive is? Let me tell you what you know what a fugitive is. Martin. Okay, a fugitive is you're in a, you're in a country, but yet uh, you got to run. You're on the run. Because people are after you, so you don't run. So he said you're a fugitive and you're a vagabond. A vagabond just means that, you know, <laughs> you just going on. Ain't nothing. You ain't, can't do nothing. Ain't, ain't got nothing. You just ain't nothing. And that's what he said he was going to be. Now listen to Cain. And 13, now he, he bold. 13, he says, and Cain said unto the Lord, my punishment is greater than I can bear. It's like you telling me, you can't whip me like that. You shouldn't have been the crime. You're going to burn. But God is good. He said, okay. So behold, thou hast driven me out this day from the face of the earth, and from thy face shall I be hid, and I shall be a fugitive and a vagabond in the earth, and it shall come to pass that everyone that findeth me shall slay me. That's what he's saying. And God went, wait a minute. Hold on, hold on. So the Lord said unto him, therefore, whosoever slayeth Cain, that means nobody better not put a hand on Cain, whosoever slayeth him, vengeance shall be taken on him sevenfold. God was going to really, if you mess with Cain, God going to really get you. And the Lord set a mark upon Cain, lest any finding him should kill him. So he marked him. I don't know. I don't know what kind of mark the book said. It, they don't know a lot of conversation on that. But whatever. Bible says he marked him. So that if any person saw him, they would leave him alone. But can you just imagine? I mean, this whole story, it says justice. The justice was Cain did get what he deserved. The vengeance was, you know what? God does the vengeance. And in the book, it talks about vengeance is not... And we can't, if you, if you are a Christian and you're always wanting vengeance, you better check your heart, check yourself. Because the Bible said, vengeance is mine. I don't care whatever somebody has done to you, you don't have the right to get them back. You can't do tip for tap. You hit me, I'm gonna hit you. And you know what? And we teach our kids, if he hits you, knock him out. That ain't right. That, that's not right. Bible say vengeance is the Lord. We're supposed to let them do, let them do, and God is going to get them. But then mercy, he allowed Cain to stand up and talk to him like he did after he killed his brother, y'all. That was the first murder of, of the whole world when he killed his brother. But God didn't kill him. He had mercy on him. He had mercy to let him talk to him. He actually let Cain talk to him the way he did, and he talked back to him, and he let him live. And then not only did he let him live, he said, nobody better not touch him. Wow. Nobody better not touch him. That's mercy. I mean, that's mercy. But when you when you look, don't say, don't be a Cain. Okay? Don't be a Cain. Don't be jealous of your brother. If you know that you're not doing right, don't stand up to God like you're wrong. Repent. Repent, all God's doing, he's just waiting. He is merciful. He's waiting for us to repent. That's all we got to do is repent of what we've done. But when we don't repent, you all, 
things keep going. God is doing stuff. He's still, he, you ain't gonna get away with it. You're not gonna get away with it. So this whole lesson is a very good lesson. Uh, it just astonished me that Cain had nerve enough to talk back to God like he did. And all I could do is think of nowadays, you know, we got a lot of folks that will stand up and talk. Some people on their job, the boss asks them something, they talk to the boss and act like they the boss when they haven't done their work and they want to give all these reasons why they haven't. That's not right. That's sin. That's sin. It says anytime you do stuff like that, all of that in the background of it is sin. And all that's going to do is hurt you in the long run. It's going to hurt you. But when you find your state, you in a state like that, we need to fall down on our knees and, and confess, Lord, I'm sorry. Please forgive me. All you got to do is repent. God is a merciful God. He's always there waiting on you. I mean, because here it is, Cain, he's so merciful that he didn't kill Cain. Cain was left. He was left to be a fugitive and a vagabond, but he didn't kill him. He allowed him to live. And then he let everybody else know, if you touch him, I'm going to get you. So our lesson, justice, vengeance, and mercy, this is our lesson for today. Thank you. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Sir Jesse. And uh, just a follow-up, you know, she, uh, that's a good lesson. And I want to say, you know, brings all we get from these lessons to kind of add on to what they are saying. Mm -hmm. but of course, it always applies to myself as well as to what happens. See, the problem with Ken was he didn't know the Lord mm -hmm. and he didn't respect the Lord. Right. And do you know that people, church workers, who, who who think they that the church work is just their goodness. They don't realize the whole house, the church is the Lord's. Mm -hmm. And so any and they think it's the pastors. And so he don't deserve this and he don't deserve that and all that kind of stuff. And so they don't realize whatever they do. That to slight me, they are slighting the Lord. Because, and, and, and what, what they also say is, okay, that's like you as a kid go to somebody's house with your friend mm -hmm. and just sit at the table and start eating just like you're comfortable because mm -hmm. your friend did it. You, mm -hmm. you need to have some regard for where you are. Mm -hmm. Because you don't know what that person is going to require you. I mean, he could turn around and say, now you owe me some money. Mm -hmm. And you'd be like, I, I thought the food was free just because your friend <laughs> took you there. Mm -hmm. So my point is this, and this is going on all over the world. This is going on everywhere. And it needs to stop. People do not realize who owns what who That's created right. it right. and who only just because they not beating you over the head yeah and not requiring uh and don't get you when you don't respect them mm -hmm. then you think they weak they must not be much of nothing and 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 besides you start taking ownership mm -hmm. of their property mm -hmm. of what's theirs it ain't even yours now all of a sudden all of this is man. Mm -hmm. It ain't the Lord's. It's man. Mm -hmm. And and so Cain felt like I worked for this. I made all this. I don't mm -hmm. see where I should be having to give the Lord anything. Mm -hmm. The Lord ain't earned this. <laughs> and so he really didn't think the Lord deserved because I did the work. Mm -hmm. So I don't see the point. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And you know what's sad is that Sometimes two people have to be hurt mm -hmm. uh, before they can realize uh, the the essence of what is the truth. You know, it, it's sad that that you so ignorantly, mm -hmm. as my daughter would would it exist, mm -hmm. and then don't and 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 have to be hurt. Mm -hmm. 
through your ignorance before you can now treat it the right way. That's right. But it happens. It happens all the time. It happens. Let me tell you what. If people really knew how much God owned the church mm -hmm. and everything, this place would be full. You're right. You're right. Everything be bad to every every church. You're right. The troubles we go through in life. Mm -hmm. Now we don't mind calling on him for, for, to help us heal our sick and all that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. We 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 want that higher power. Well, that's the same God. Yeah. That makes things be okay when you ain't got a problem. That's right. He deserves just as much when you don't pay your tithes and all that because you think, mm -hmm. well, that preacher don't need my money. <laughs> Look, you cheating God. You ain't cheating me. That's right. You know, because yeah. whatever right. I need, I guarantee you, whatever I need as a pastor and as a person, I'm going to get it. That's right. That's Whether right. I get it from you or get it from God, God going to always supply. Yes, he is. Me with whatever I need because of my faith mm -hmm. in him. So we need to get to know what the what we are a part of and then believe what you are a part of and quit just going along with stuff out of ignorance and not having the, the regard that you ought to have of what you are a, a part of. Uh -huh. Now, me having said that, if, if 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 I was say okay, so everybody that really is that ignorant, just leave, just get out the church, mm -hmm. just quit, quit, go away. Mm -hmm. I know a, 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 a pastor years ago, mm -hmm. he felt like all y'all ain't right, you ain't gonna be right, you ain't gonna do right. And he put folks at the church. Yes, yes, he did. And people thought that it was so wrong. Mm -hmm. But he probably helped them folks more than they would ever know. Mm -hmm. Because they they took church membership as precious from that day on. Yes. And they got put out of the church. Right. You know, yeah. and, and, you know, just because God don't do it like that, don't mean he can't. That's right. He can put you out and make it. Terrible for you all the days of your life. So anyway, right. thank you, Sister Gary. You, you brought a good a lesson. Now we're gonna do this one birthday. Okay. Uh and we have is Sister Smith. Yay. And I think Smith. She, she's out of town. She is. Yeah, she, she's out of town with, with her family. But I'm sure she's on Zoom. Mm -hmm. Is she on Zoom? No. Oh, she may fancy. Well, she can hear it later. When you say, but since so maybe we tell you, you have birthday today, and you're know, saying celebrating you, I think she'll be 80 on the, on her birthday. She will. We're saying celebrating you. Uh, today we celebrate the blessing of you. Happy birthday to Smith. She's saying she's trying to get on Zoom because the uh, internet's not working. Okay. So every good and perfect gift is from above. Coming down from the Father of the heavenly light, who does not change like shifting shadow. That's James 1 and 17. It's the NIV version. So we are saying, uh, after birthday, Sister Smith, who is going to be 80 years mm -hmm. old on her birthday, uh -huh. which is with that. On the 6th. Her birthday is on the 6th. Okay. Happy birthday, Sister Smith. We love you. You're one of our special, very special members. Mm -hmm. And so I'm going to sing for you. Amen. Amen. Happy birthday <laughs> to you. <laughs> oh, they can't get it. Happy birthday <laughs> to you. <laughs> I only sing this like this to Sister Garrett. Happy birthday <laughs> to Sister <the> Smith. <laughs> Happy birthday. <laughs> I said, Happy <laughs> oh my. birthday. Oh my. I said, Happy <laughs> to do the speed. Happy <laughs> birthday. Yeah, I got some good voices in it. <laughs> they just all don't come out to say that. <laughs> <laughs> And many more. Yay. 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 Yay.
it's me, you know you ain't here. Hey, <laughs> hey, that's how much we love you. And have, that's how much regard we have for you. Amen. You, you, you are one of our number one members. Amen. Amen. This church, we got more than one number one member. Amen. <laughs> she is one of them number one members. Amen. Amen. We thank God bless her with many more birthdays. Amen. Amen. All right. So now that we're through with that, what's up next? Um, another song? A song. I got one. Okay. Guys, we'll bring a song. Okay, so I found this. I got the book and found the song. I thought this is what the way I was feeling. Uh, when I woke up this morning, I was feeling this way. And um, my song is a friend we have in Jesus, all our sins and griefs to bear. One of privilege it is to, to carry everything to God. In prayer and all oh, what peace we often forfeit, all oh, what needless pain we bear, all oh, because we do not care. Reason to God in prayer. Have we trials and temptation? Is there trouble anywhere? We should never be discouraged. Hey. It's to the Lord in prayer. And can we find a friend so faithful who will all our sorrow share? Jesus knows our every weakness. Hey. It's to the Lord in prayer. Amen. 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 Yeah. Amen. You know, one thing, this church, this is called different, different Baptist church. Amen. And the reason I'm different. With all the things they sit in church and, and wish they had a chance to do, they never got a chance to do. I said, Boy, one of these days, thank you, sister. We built something up. Too. But let me say this Tammy, if you want to sing a song, you can sing one too. Bruce, if you want to sing a song, you can sing one too. Because let me, and, and that's my point. Even Sister Faye Wesley, uh, she wants to say something. Because mm -hmm. let me tell you what you used to have. You've been at church and the usual singers don't show up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you think that you're scared to death, man. You don't really <laughs> want to do it. You're scared right. to death because you don't use the same no way. But at the same time, Mm -hmm. Y'all rather just skip all the songs and just don't have no songs. And, and just so they'll just skip the songs. Mm -hmm. They're like, ain't nobody else out there can sing a song. Mm -hmm. Just because they use your singers. Right. And like, well, we ain't going to be that way and we ain't like that. Mm -hmm. We ain't going to let. If we, the usual singers ain't here, guess what? That's your chance. That's right. To sing you a song, song. 
and his chair. That's Amen. Right. Amen. So don't think now if you don't want to say it anyway, don't make you say it. Right. Okay. But did you know mm -hmm. there have been times that you kind of wish that maybe mm -hmm. they need me to sing a song. What do you think? And then everybody, I know everybody got at least one song that they wanted to tear loose with. Mm -hmm. Even if you don't sound good at it, you don't know it, you don't just tear loose. They, they need to hear me. Yeah. I'm going to tell you what happens. Yeah. Okay, how good you sound in the shower? <laughs> <laughs> how good you sound driving down the road? How good you sound at home and all that? Getting in front of folks is a whole different story. You're right. But, but you'll never know if you don't try. That's and, right. And Amen. I'm going to say this, but and the more you do it, the easier it gets to where one day you'll be singing in that good voice you know that you got. That's right. Because all that fearfulness will be gone. You see what I'm saying? That's right. So you get to work all that off. And get down to where now I'm going to say to the Lord the way I really want to. Amen. Amen. So I try to make you comfortable to let you know we ain't judging you here. We're here to serve the Lord. That's and right. That's what this sentence you left was all about. That's right. That's why I can't can understand. How could you tell the difference? Mm -hmm. well, well, God knew. Yeah. God can tell the difference in who want to do and who don't want to do. That's right. Amen. Amen. And so we are delighted that we get that chance to serve the Lord. Isn't it? Ain't God all right? Yes, he is. Amen. Amen. We're glad to be here. Mm -hmm. Come on down. All right. So now, let's see. I think we have the prayer, the times and all. The times and all. Right. Let's buy it here. Father God, we do thank you for mm -hmm. tithes and offering. Thank you for those that have given, mm -hmm. those that, that are going to give, mm -hmm. those that uh, have already done it in the past and even doing it in the future. Because, mm -hmm. Lord, reason I pray, because I want you to see how grateful we are. That's right. To receive tithes and offering, because that's what keeps. It was running around here in the physical sense, mm -hmm. in this building and in the thing. Because all the bills we come on, oh Lord, you, 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 you let the members keep paying their time and offering. Mm -hmm. and, and so I'm asking you to keep blessing them that they'll have the money to do that. That's right. And then keep opening up the windows of heaven and pouring out blessings. That's right. That they won't have room to receive, that they'll feel like that they should pay their time and offering, right. that they will pay their time. That's right. right. Out of fear for you, out of regard for you, out of respect for you, out of all of it, to you be the glory. That's right. They ain't paying it to me, Lord. They're paying it to you. That's right. And I pray that because they're looking to you, lying looking to you for stuff, Lord. They want you to bless their children, grandchildren, mm -hmm. bless them, bless their job, bless a whole lot of things. Mm -hmm. And they want to be able to call on you for whatever it is That's right. that they need you to bless. That's right. Lord, they want you to bless it, and, and, and you, for the most part, do do it. That's right. And we're grateful to you, God, mm -hmm. for blessing the way you do. Mm -hmm. If it had not been for you, none of us would be here today. That's right. To even stand here and praise your name in this brand new year. That's right. So we say thank you, God. Mm -hmm. We pray all these things in the name, in of, the name Jesus. of Jesus. Right, that's so it. Yeah. Amen. Amen. In case somebody don't know, I'm Reverend Thomas F. Garrison, pastor of the Prince of Peace Missionary Baptist Church. In case you say, who is that man talking that, that I don't know who, who that is. You may be a, a visitor and that happened to be on our site. And if you are, that's who I am. The lady is here, the Sister Garrison, she's first lady. And we're here just having our morning service. Amen. Amen. We thank you for joining me in with us. Now we have to our next song. Amen. Who's going to bring the next song? Sister Spencer. Sister Spencer. Sister Spencer. All the way from Eulis, Texas. Amen. Yeah. Amen. You do have to stand up. <laughs> She's she going to bring this song sometime today. <laughs> Amen. I hope 
for doing it is, is, is on the land. When she, she can look, look at the tape. All your children can see their mother singing Amen at church. For me, song everybody knows, so everybody can get me out this morning. Amen. <laughs> Jesus came me near That's the right. cross a friend just found in free to long a healing stream flows from Calvary's mountain in the cross in the cross me my Lord tears my rain just so shall find rest me on the river near the cross near the cross be my glory Till my realm just so shall find rest me on the river. Amen. 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 Perfect song leading to yes, our Lord. Seven. That's right. It was at the cross that's right, that's right. If we uh, now do our Lord's Supper. So, anybody have their cups? And the Lord's Supper, just to get ready for communion. We want the communion is with Jesus. And as often as you do this, you do show uh, his death, girl, and resurrection. So, we're going to first pray. Father God, I do pray for us. Uh, that you forgive us for our sins, our transgressions, because we don't want to do this in vain. And we're doing this to remember how you hung and died on Calvary's cross from our sin, but then how you rose up from the dead, mm -hmm. and how you're now sitting at the right hand of the Father. And so we thank you, God. That's right. Uh, your son, Jesus. That's right. And we pray that you bless mm -hmm. uh, this Lord's Supper, that it be a blessing to us. That's right. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. 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 So they said they took the, the bread, which represents the body Hold up. of our Lord. Hold up. Same in Jesus Christ. So you're supposed to get down to your wafer, which is the body, represents the bread. So if everybody will do that. And as you got your bread, hold it up so I can see that we're ready. Amen. So I have to wait on who's not ready. Amen. 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 That's all right. I, yes, I usually have one, but I didn't have one until today. So the bread represents the broken body of Jesus. And he did that just for us, y'all. He, he, he let his body be broken. Me and for you. Amen. Amen. Is to eat ye all of it. I used to tell them, you know, all your old dry seeds, just think about it. Mm -hmm. This is your burn off. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This is your mess. Amen. Any food tastes good. Mm -hmm. What you did wasn't good. Amen. That's right. Amen. Amen. So we thank God that He know how to take all that. That's right. And make it mm -hmm good. Just mm -hmm. the same. Made it good for us. Amen. That's right. Now we at the, the cup, 
have to take that covering off your cup without getting the juice all on yourself. <laughs> Amen. You able to do that at, at, at the area? Mm. Done. Okay. I can do that in, in my fleet. <laughs> So it's the cup that represents the blood that came streaming down. Mm -hmm. Jesus was crucified on the cross for the remission of our sins. He said, drink ye all of it. Amen. 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 I know it was the blood. I know it was the blood. I know it was the blood. Oh, yeah. One day when I was lost, he died upon the cross. I know it was the blood for me. Amen. Amen. Now we have to our altar prayer. If you have names you wish to call, then they call it Sister. Okay, so you have Sister uh, Sophronia's uh, grandbaby. I don't know if he's still in the hospital or out of the hospital. Okay, yeah. you also have, uh, let's see, Rashonda, please pray for Edward and I. We have been really sick since the day after Christmas. So those, and then you have uh, the family of Sister Lotus and somebody else. The funeral of Sister Lotus, the viewing is today from noon to six in that Golden Gate funeral. And uh, the, the funeral series will be tomorrow at 11 uh, o'clock in Golden Gate funeral. You have um, uh, my family, uh, Eric is recuperating at home and the Eden family is recuperating at home. Um, and then Reverend Moore. Yeah. Okay. We've been getting quite a few calls. Oh, and my sister, sister Debbie has COVID. My people have gotten COVID. I'm going to say tested to have it. Mm -hmm. They're not feeling sick or anything. They're just mm -hmm. uh, testing positive. Some have felt bad, some haven't. So we're just going to be Sister, Sister Courtney says herself and Mayana, and KD says the Petty and King family. And family, my mom and my grandmother, uh, pastor and first lady into our church, our country, and uh, my co-workers. Monica said pray for her, her and Tristan. <coughs> So many problems, so many people, their jobs, travels, mm -hmm. throughout the land. We just need you, God, to 
stay in control and keep blessing as only you can. Lord. You only want to get us through all of this stuff. That's I'm right. grateful to you, Lord, for what you already done, and what you continue to try to do for us. That's right. And we, for the entire world, not just mm -hmm. the United States, but the world going through this, Lord. That's so right. It affects us every time it breaks out and uh, in whatever way it does, Lord. So we just pray that one day, eventually, it'll all be over. Mm -hmm. we'll get back to what we call normal. I don't know if we ever see that again. But anyway, we just pray that you be with us. That's right. Help us to fight on and to endure all these things mm -hmm. that we're facing. Because we can't make it without you, God. So I'm praying for all those names that have been called, all of the babies mm -hmm. and different ones that need you, Lord, in the way that beyond mm -hmm. man's help. That's right. We need your healing power, Lord, your healing, your graciousness. Mm -hmm. We're saying, Lord, please have mercy. Have mercy, Lord. In the name of Jesus, we Thank pray. Jesus. Ask it all. Amen. 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 I'm going to play the next song. Because mm -hmm. uh, I don't want to volunteer. I didn't get the word to uh, uh, Atlanta in Tampa, probably because he could sing right now if he wanted to. But anyway, if he wants to, it might. But this is open form. Amen. Amen. Somebody move it. Why not? You know you know some songs. Amen. She knows that that little girl a whole lot more than she had like Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. You better learn some of the songs. She already know them. Amen. All right. So nobody's gonna about to tell are you ready for your a debut song? Just the time. <laughs> that is your name, right? <laughs> Just say you yes and no. You ain't ready. You're not ready. I'll stay. <laughs> huh? I'm singing in song. Okay. We'll say you. Say no. Say I ain't ready. Sing out loud. Okay. I'll stay. Amen. I'm going to sing one of my favorites. Okay. Just before I preach. Lord, I want to be a Christian in my heart, in my heart. Lord, I want to be a Christian in my heart, in my heart. In my heart, in my heart, Lord, I want to be a Christian. In my heart, Lord, I want to be like Jesus. In my heart, in my heart, Lord, I want. To be like Jesus in my heart, in my heart, oh, in my heart, oh Lord, I want to be like Jesus in my heart. Amen. 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 So today, the first Sunday in this year of 2022. Amen. Amen. And we are so blessed to be alive. Amen. And so I ask you to turn the mark the first chapter in the 15th verse. Mark, first chapter, 15th verse.
And it reads, and saying, the time is fulfilled. And the kingdom of God is at hand. Repent ye and believe the gospel. So today, mm -hmm. I want to talk about what do we need to do next. Mm, okay. And that's not a fair question because y'all act like you didn't already know. <laughs> Nothing has changed. What you need to do mm -hmm. is probably what you haven't done in a long time. And when it says time is fulfilled and the kingdom of God is at hand, said you need to repent. Yeah. Now this scripture was lifted from Mark at a time when John Baptist had uh, been baptized mm -hmm. and it said Satan was on him and uh, he was even put in prison for preaching the gospel and Jesus come forward saying the time is fulfilled mm -hmm. and the kingdom of God is at hand Repent ye and believe the gospel. Our Sunday school lesson was about a man who needed to repent. That's right. Do you know why repentance is important? First of all, the fact that, that you don't think you've done anything wrong uh -huh. to the point that you got an attitude about it. Yeah. And, and 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 if you be truthful, you could be done something little. If you can't repent over the little things, yeah, you sure not gonna repent over the big things. That's right. In other words, you and then they step on somebody's foot or something, all that kind of, and you won't say you sorry. But well, they shouldn't have had their foot in the way. <laughs> uh, uh, you accuse. <laughs> Being took her to be at home and took her to be done something and she wrong. <laughs> and she won't say she, 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 she wrong. She won't repent. <laughs> she not look at me like, I know you don't think I'm going to say that. Well, you better get on out of here. <laughs> don't wait till the hell freeze over. Oh, you think I'm going to get outside from the, you know. And so. <clears throat> God forbid if she go out and she don't be. She won't say she's sorry for that for that little old stuff she did at the house. You know if she go 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 out tripping on me, she sure ain't gonna say she, she's sorry for that because she gonna say that's all my fault too. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> so, but I'm saying repentance is important, and, and all yes. that you're doing when you don't repent is letting it build up. Yeah. It'll build up, and the next time it just gets worse, and you get worse. Next thing you know, you can't even stand yourself, <laughs> and you find yourself looking at oh, what's wrong with me. You be talking to yourself, don't you? Oh, I don't know why I can, but it gets to where you just and and and, and it it could be your mate, especially. It, it just gets to where you just. It just make me sick, you know. I don't know why. And and just look like when I do something, he just he or she just sitting there at the perfect time for me to say I'm sorry, but but I don't want to do it because I let it go once. Now it's built up. Now it's twice. And now I ain't never gonna see it. You know, I ain't never gonna see it. And some homes are just chilly cold. Relationships in that home are just chilly cold. It's just awful in that home because of, of because the repentance has not been done. Mm -hmm. And that same thing happens mm -hmm. with the Lord. Mm -hmm. Some people need the Lord so bad it ain't funny. Mm -hmm. And they be, I'd be like, when they gonna call, call on the Lord? When when they gonna ask for prayer? When they gonna ask God to help them 
with their problems. And now some members like that, I love them to them. Well, I don't care what happened to them. They ain't on that pastor. You need to be praying. And I just feel obligated. I step on that. I start praying right off and just be praying. Then I start crying with the Lord something. Like, come on, God, don't make me look bad. Come on, don't, don't they need this to happen because they call me. So I don't right. get that in any call. So please, God, let me have this one special member who who really believed that this is going to work. I had another call on me. And it was the weirdest thing. And this had never happened to me. And she called me literally crying. She was crying. This was last week. I mean, she was crying. She had never done it. She was apologizing to me. She said, oh, guys, I'm so sorry. And she was crying the whole time. He literally crying. Wrong woman. And she was apologizing up a stuff. And all I could think of was thank you, Jesus. Mm -hmm. And she said, I just don't, I just didn't know who else to call. And I was thinking to myself, I'm the one you're supposed to call. That's right. And I started praying. Mm -hmm. And then after we got off the phone, mm -hmm. I prayed, now God don't make no fool out of me. That woman didn't know who else to call. And I done prayed to you and help her. That's right. You know, when a few hours later she called me mm -hmm. and she was talking all calm and she was like, I'm sorry. I, I just, and she was laughing. Sounded a whole different person mm -hmm. because God had visited. Because her point was, mm -hmm. I've been hurting all night. Mm -hmm. and, 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 and I guess, you know, Y'all don't know what I go through. Some things I experience mm -hmm. so that I don't take lightly your pain. Yeah. Some of, some of my pain is y'all fault. I'm, I'm in learning school from the Lord. I mean, so when she called, when, when COVID got through with me, I came out there and did this here. I got the head brace on now. Both my hands went into attack. And they hurt all night long. I was, <laughs> I was crying, literally, because it was hurting that bad. And doctor gave me pills. They didn't work. Nothing worked. And, and I just remember thinking to, to myself, I'm going to be in pain the rest of my life like this? Oh, God. This is so terrible. And I cried. Mm -hmm. So girl that was asleep. And uh, I didn't want to bother her. But so when she called me, I knew mm -hmm. that it's possible for you just hurt constantly all night and, until you get scared. You start yeah. thinking this is going this is gonna be forever. And then I'll be honest with you. And then all of a sudden it goes away. Mm -hmm. And you'll be like, you did pray, but then we <laughs> I sometimes be thinking, God must say, why y'all do me like you prayed that I take the pain away? I done took it away. Why That's you can't right. say I did it? That's right. That's right. Because he'll do it uh -huh. and it won't come back. Then you get scared. Well, what was it come back? Because I ain't gonna lie, boy. That pain be that bad that, that you be fearful. Mm -hmm. That is going to come back. So I'm always looking for a drug that's going to fix that. I'll be like, oh, the doctors, when the doctors don't have nothing that they can give you, and they would give you what they call their potent stuff, mm -hmm. and it didn't help. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. man, that really disappoints you. Yeah. So I try to stay in good. I want to stay in good with the Lord uh -huh. so that when you hear my cry, that's right. He he will do something about it. That's right. Because God can stop your pain. Ain't no pain so bad. That's right. That God cannot stop it. Mm -hmm. But I tell you, you can't have pain that is so bad mm -hmm. that it can't be stopped. Mm -hmm. but he tells us. It mm -hmm. is funny how he says here. He never God is that he repent. Mm -hmm. And then it says, and believe. The gospel. Mm -hmm. All we got to do during this, continue to do in this new year of the pandemic, mm -hmm. is believe the gospel. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. Continue to believe the gospel. This ain't, you know, this ain't the time to stop believing. That's right. Jesus is Lord. Yeah. He's already died on the cross by our sin. God is still in control. That's right. We got to continue to believe. Mm -hmm. It's a believe the gospel. Mm -hmm. You know, the Bible ain't going to keep having you nothing new because nothing's new under the sun. The Lord is still a saint. That's right. You just have to keep rallying around what you already got. That's right. What you already had. Now, we let our stuff go cold on us and get dusty and rusty and get to where our faith ain't in it no more. You got to brush your faith off and get back in there. That's right. And start back believing. That's right. Because God still cares. If he cared yesterday, he cares today too. Yes, he does. Yes, and he we does. have to rally around the Lord and let the Lord help us with whatever our problem may be. Whatever right. it may be. That's right. You've got to still count on the Lord for your troubles. Now, my people want to go. It, 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 was, it was sad and interesting what we've seen in this country, how people doubted the Sanders and doubted yeah. leadership. I'm telling you, that's, that's scary. It is. Uh, to, to see, because what I'm concerned, if we doubt leadership, if we don't stop respect the leadership, then who's in control? Who's that's in right. charge? That's right. Who are we going to follow? That's I mean, us. even if we got the craziest mm -hmm. leader in, in the world, we got to have uniform fellowship, right. or we're going to all just treat each other terrible, which is what's happening. Because yeah. when people say, the president ain't my president. Well, who, well what <laughs> country are you in? You know? <laughs> I mean, that, that, that just sounds silly. It does. Ain't none of my president. So you don't pledge your allegiance to the same United States that you pledged your allegiance to before. Mm -hmm. The country still needs you to be the same person That's that right. you were before. Or you need to get out of here. Yeah. You need to go someplace where you do. Well, I ain't going nowhere. I was here first. Huh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Whoever's in charge. That's right. Well, we put in charge. Now you need to pray for your leadership. That's you don't right. just decide. It ain't your leadership, because guess what? It is. It is. It's still the president, yeah. whether you like it or not. You are. Well, the same thing with God. God is still God. Whether well, you like anything he's done or not. And, and the sooner you get your act together with the Lord, the better your possibilities are. That's right. I was so impressed with the Sunday you left. I came in, and I couldn't have been. It's a lot of stuff about God. I'll be honest with you. Mm -hmm. A lot of stuff about God I don't understand. To me, it's crazy. I mean, for him to know that Cain That's right. slew his brother, mm -hmm. you know, out of jealousy and, and all that kind of stuff, and then put world protection on, yes, he on him, like told the whole world, you went mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. But to me, I should be able to go up to Cain and slap him because mm -hmm. I'm a Christian mm -hmm. and he killed Abel. Mm -hmm. He did it wrongly. Why can't I do that? Mm -hmm. You know, Lord, but you protect evil. You yeah. protected Cain, who you know did it wrong. That's right. He said, nobody got to do it. That's right. You know what? There's some things that God regards that this is my business. That's right. This is my work, and you got to stay out of it. Yeah. Have you ever had some stuff go on? I, I don't have to tell some guys about that. <laughs> She go out there, y'all, and get my stuff in the garage. Oh, my goodness. And, and I don't know if I'm going to have to build or what I'm going to have to do. <laughs> but she got to understand, you do not get my stuff away out of the garage. Listen, I can see this in your house in the way that she go and get your stuff out of the garage. That's a sacred place for a man that's in the garage. If you take your stuff out of the garage, that's a beating of this. Amen. <laughs> you know I'm not a wife beater. <laughs> she brought a lot of stuff down here and gave away to people. They were walking away. <laughs> they, they, they got it on my desk and, and I was leaving the church and then they go walking around. 
came out with a, 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 a movie that had it, you know, looking like it had all these marks on his face. Oh, boy, God. Jesus really looked that bad. Woo. That, it, it was bad. I said, I can see how God would just, his wrath would just be ferocious. Yeah. But man, I can see why Jesus said, Father. That's right. Forgive them. He's telling God to forgive him. He is hanging on the cross. That's right. But but asking God not to give him this world what he deserved, mm -hmm. but what he did to Jesus. That's right. Because after all, he came mm -hmm. for us. And, and God decides they don't know what they did. They don't know what they're doing. That's right. And you know, that's the truth about so much of what's going on. People do not know what they're doing. They need more chances. That's right. That maybe eventually they can repent once they really understand what they do. So he tell us to forgive folks. That's right. He tell us to turn down the cheek. He tell us to do all these things so that they can come to know what they're doing. He said, if you do these ridiculous, uh -huh. forgiving things uh -huh. with people, they will see that that you are of me. He said, right. Now, you don't get credit for being able to turn up the cheek. God gets credit, because nobody can do that in a natural sense. But if you can turn up the cheek uh -huh. and still be nice to them and still love them, uh -huh. he said, they will see me. That's right. And after all, who do we want people to see? We want people to see God. We want That's people right. to, more people that regard God is going to be, make it better for all of us. And so we've got to, I know some of this stuff, that'd be like, this ain't right. We in office look like nobody respects us. Everybody still treat us like we ain't that. I said, but you know what? You don't get to act like that, do mm -mm. My mama, man, I had the worst mama in the world when it came that she she would not let me act like them other kids. And you know how they did it, Ma. You know how they did it. Just let me hit them one time. Now that we got the upper hand, let me throw a rock at them. Let me do them like they used to do me, Ma. But my mama would not. Let me do them like they did me. And I used to think it was so awful. She used to tell me all the time, don't mess up that man's job. I said, somebody got to mess it up. Said, Why can't they be your children? What you want us, huh, that part? I fight with my mama. She didn't want her children to mess up. Nothing in the whole wide world. I said, you just want us poor, don't you? I said, Mom, everybody messes up. I said, and they get paid for it. Mm -hmm. I said, we might have to get paid. Some of your children need to get paid for messing up. Mm -hmm. So she, she laughed. Yeah, I guess she might have that. But at the same time, the Lord is always seen like mm -hmm. he bought on the other side. Yeah. That's how come he let Cain get away, you know? Mm -hmm. But can you imagine if you came had to walk all the days of life looking over his shoulder? That's right. One end was somebody after him. Yeah. One end, because the fact that God said it mm -hmm. meant that your life ain't worth it for. Because mm -hmm. just like you killed your brother, somebody really want to kill you. That's right. And everybody don't know God. That's right. Everybody ain't going to do what God said. Okay, so can you still in trouble? Yeah. Amen. Just because he's going to get them. If yeah. they do it, don't mean you ain't gonna die. Right. Amen. So this world is full of everything. Everything you can produce yeah. can get produced again. That's Amen. right. Amen. You know what else? It can also get produced for you. Mm -hmm. And say that God is for you more than the whole world gets you. That's right. Amen. Amen. And I'm grateful to God. I want to be on the Lord's side. Mm -hmm. Who's on the Lord's side? That's right. We are on the Lord's side. We must, the church mm -hmm. must be on God's side. That's right. The church belongs to God. All these crosses, if you can see a church, they got a cross on, that ain't the Lord. 
Man got to crawl somewhere on that building. Yeah. Uh, on the sand or somewhere. Did they not of the Lord? Don't you go around here serving all these different churches. Mm -hmm. All churches don't regard Jesus Christ died on the cross. When you see, see the cross on the building, they saying we regarded that yeah. Jesus died on Calvary's cross. That's right. All I see. Jesus saying, so therefore, I didn't need y'all to repent yeah. and believe the gospel. Mm -hmm. And and Jesus will do all kinds of stuff for you. That's right. If you do just those few things. That's right. So I want to encourage us today in the year 2022. 2022, you may not have made the kind of stride or whatever in 2021. But guess what? You still got a chance to make it. That's right. In 2022. You know why you got a chance? Because you're still alive. That's right. Somebody didn't make it to 2022. That's right. But you did. That's right. That means God is still working with you. That's still right. Still able to do for you in this brand new year. That's right. Amen. Amen. And so we want to continue to serve the Lord no matter what. Because right. he's worthy to be praised. Amen. And God ain't tired yet. You got no business to be tired either. Amen. Amen. So I want to thank everybody mm -hmm. who are here and on today. This has been a kind of peculiar time because of the timing mm -hmm. of the of the closing of the year. But you know what? I ain't worried about that. Because I'm just glad I he woke me up That's right. this morning That's and right. started me on my way. That's right. I'm glad. I'm thanking the sisters and the guys who can get us ready no matter what, how strange the times are. She tried to get us ready, get us down here in the whole bit. I owe her a great debt. I talked about her and, and, and all that kind of stuff, but I wouldn't trade her for the world, boy, because ain't no one going to put her with me the way she do. Amen. She be always talking about, well, one of these days, no. <laughs> when you, if you down, I went to jump in that coffin with her. I know it's going to be the end of me. Ain't nobody going to care about me. Amen. <laughs> be like, good riddance. So, praise God for uh, whom our blessings flow. Mm -hmm. And I want to thank Jesus for that. That's right. Cross. That's right. For my sins. That's right. Y'all, and you may not have ever looked at your life. Mm -hmm. You may think your life is mysteriously mm -hmm. just happening. Mm -hmm. I'm here to tell you it's not. That's right. Your life is not mysteriously just happening. That's right. Your life, even yours, is like that. No matter how young y'all's life, uh -huh. God got you on a trail and, and you were born in a year that, that was meant by the Lord. Mm -hmm. and, and, and you may not understand it today, but one of these days, that's right. God will keep revealing to you more and more mm -hmm. with how significant your life is in him. Amen. Amen. So Amen. I thank God for all of you all that are here today. I, I just sometimes wish it was somebody I could do special that would just blow your mind. Mm -hmm. But then, if I gave you that much money, you wouldn't come back next week. <laughs> ah. <laughs> yeah. But I love you. Amen. I thank you all for just being here. I, I enjoy what we do because we're serving the Lord. That's right. And, That's right. And we going to keep serving the Lord. I don't know nothing no better to do. You know, people got have shelters. I was impressed that my dad finally, after being old, finally was able to own him a, a good cement cell place to run when the tornadoes come and all that kind of stuff. Because we had that old shed that we built that caved in. And it was so interesting that we run out there all the years. Then when the thing caved in, we had nothing to run out there to get what we just stayed in the house. Storm still came. Storm kept coming. Storm came another 20 years. You know who, who, who was our real sh shelter? The Lord. That's right. The Lord was the real deal. He's always the real deal. 
That's we right. just buy all this other stuff because we got the money to throw away. And Obama song, y'all don't like Christ is all I need. I'm telling you, if That's you right. got the Lord on your side, uh -huh. you got all that you need. That's right. Amen. Amen. The door of the church stand open. Brother Christian Spirit standing for us. And you here today, we invite you to come. Come to Jesus. Come to Jesus, come to Jesus right now, right now. Come to Jesus, come to Jesus just now. He will save you, he will save you, he will save you, will save you. right just now. Just now, he will save you. He will save you. Amen. Do it to accept the reject. Lord, it blesses to the readers and hearers of his word. Don't forget, Sister Lotus, thing today and tomorrow. Okay, so the viewing of Lotus is started by now, started at noon. Okay. At Golden Gate Funeral Home. And then tomorrow will be the funeral at 11 o'clock. Amen. Amen. Let us stay. Come and go with me to that land. Come and go with me to that land. Come and go with me to that land. Where I'm bound, where I'm bound. Come and go with me to that land. Come and go with me to that land. Come and go with me to that land. Where I'm bound. Oh, you will see Jesus in that land. You will see Jesus in that land. You will see Jesus in that land. Where I'm bound. Where I'm bound. You will see Jesus in that land. You'll see Jesus in that land. You'll see Jesus in that land. Well, I'm I'm land. Oh, peace and happiness in that land. Peace and happiness in that land. Peace and happiness in that land. Where I'm bound, where I'm bound. Peace and happiness in that land. Peace and happiness in that land. Peace and happiness in that land. Well, we do thank you for a wonderful, wonderful service today. That's right. And I'm praying for Sister Lotus Wim family and that everything will go well with that film. That's right. With that family. Mm -hmm. praying for everybody else going through for three minutes this time. That's right. As well as sickness, praying for the entire congregation. Mm -hmm. Lord, we need you. We can't make this journey with you. That's I right. the grace of God and the sweet communion of the Holy Spirit. Press root in the Bible to us in for heaven, whether it's all say amen. 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 amen.